Hello and welcome to Horologique. I'm Olivier and today I wanted to present to you the Casio Vintage Reference A1000. And this belongs to the Casio Vintage line, as you can see, and it comes in a very different package from the usual Casios and even the G-Shocks. This watch came in this bag, which is branded Casio Vintage. So very nice touch. And you can see Darth Vader there, just to add to the vintage touch. And it then came in this box, which slides to the side. And here you can find all the manuals, all the warranties, and all that, that I will never actually bother reading. And here you will also find this little pouch. And this little pouch, it's very, it's a uh, leather, maybe it's fake real leather, I don't know, I don't really care. But it's very soft, very classy as you can see. And in here comes the watch. Here it is. And this is the Casio Reference A1000M1BEF. As usual, Casio just puts very long references, which are very hard to memorize. So first of all, the dimensions. So this watch is 38 millimeters in, uh, I wouldn't call that diameter, let's call it diameter, okay? It's 39.5 millimeters in log to log. It's only 7.5 millimeters in height and the log width is 18 millimeters. And I mentioned the log width here because it's important, because these nice and very nice bracelet is actually a quick release, as you can see. So it can be swapped very easily. And that is, I believe, a first for Casio. And the first thing that you can see about this watch is the mother of pearl dial. There's, so there's a white and a black version, and this would be the black version. And in this version, the mother of pearl dial is quite hard to see. Most of the time it just looks black, but then you have to catch it in the right light, and then you will see the glimpses of that beautiful mother of pearl. So, to continue, I digress, to continue with dimensions, this watch is 72 grams, so it's much heavier than your usual F91W, for example, which is just 29, 20, 21 grams, and as you can see, the case is a combination of polished surfaces, of polished and brushed surfaces, and we will talk about that in more detail later and it's all stainless steel. All of it, the case, is real stainless steel. It's not painted like in some other cheaper Casio models. And the bracelet, I think this is a highlight of this watch because this bracelet is very well made for the price. It's very thin just to accommodate to the uh, vintage aesthetic of this watch and that buckle is even signed Casio. So that is very nice indeed. And this is a mesh bracelet, and as you can see, it glitters, it shines, and it helps a lot in the aesthetic of this watch. I must say that this watch wasn't actually cheap for a Casio. It was around, I paid around 80 euros for it, and I think it's quite worth it, especially if you see the quality of the polishing and brushing. So maybe if you can take a better look here. Okay, now it focuses on the metallic surface right around the dial and the mother of pearl dial. This metallic surface surrounding the dial is brushed and it's vertical brushed. And it's a very nice brushing. 
and the brushing goes and continues up to, to the upper and lower parts of the watch creating a very nice flowing look which is very good and there is a bevel right under that shroud that's surrounding and that bevel is very nicely polished so there's a very nice surface polished surface the surface surrounding that brush shroud is also polished very nicely polished and the sides of the case have two kinds of finishing so as you can see the bevels on top and on the bottom of the sides of the case are fully polished and the shroud that protects that protects the bottoms is vertically polished as well so a very refined look for a Casio and very nice at this price level so let's take a look at the back of the watch and as you can see it just says Casio the reference of the watch stainless steel water resistant which means that this watch is water resistant only to 3 ATM just splash proof basically don't take it into the pool and made in China DW I don't know what that stands for and the interesting thing is that this watch uh, usually Casio's are Casio is very keen on putting all the specs on the face of the watch here they haven't done so and the instruction the instructions for what every single one of those buttons does is right here so the upper left button would be the light the up the lower left button would be the mode and the lower right button would be, would be the start stop and as we're talking about the functions of this watch they are actually very basic nothing the this watch is not about the functions it's about the looks so we didn't talk about the dial when we mentioned the dial I forgot to say that even the uh, Casio the branding has been applied in metal and the LCD screen is also framed in metal in polished metal which gives this very nice very coherent look so let's talk about the function of this watch and first let's talk about the main screen so in the main screen as is usual with very simple Casios you have the date you have the hour the date and the day and here's a little indicator that says that I set this for a 12 for a 24 hour instead of the a.m. p.m. and let's navigate through the screens with the classic sound here is the alarm setting just one alarm for this watch here is the stopwatch as you can see SD there and here is for just setting the watch so there's just two functions alarm stopwatch and that's all if you're in the main screen and you press the bottom right button you go to the you change the main hour function from a.m. to p.m. and if you press the upper left button you just light up the screen the strange thing with this Casio is that the LCD screen only lights while you press it it's not like a G-Shock where the lights or it lights for a few seconds after you press once and the light comes for around three seconds here I have to press continuously for it to light 
And as you can see, I didn't notice that before, the lights on the little vintage Casio is brighter and better than the light on the G-Shock and that is quite impressive. Both are negative displays, so that has nothing to do with it. Take a look at that. Okay, let's continue scrolling through the different functions. And just the alarm. You set the alarm. With the light button which is pretty strange, but that's the way it is. And the stopwatch starts and stops with the same button, the bottom right button. And you can even set lap times, split times with the light button. You press it again and there you go. So if you're looking for amazing functions in this watch, well, don't expect too much. You only have the day, the date, uh, one alarm and the stopwatch and that's it. But this is not the point of this watch. This watch is all about the looks. And I think that it's a winner on that respect. Just the intricacies of the case the intricacies of that dial that will just show its beauty when you set it in the right light and the way that it wears. Let me show it to you. As you can probably tell, it's a very wearable watch for small wrists. So my wrist is six and a half inches or 16.5 centimeters in circumference and as you can see the watch just wears beautifully very nice and let's see it from afar it wears very nice very thin on the wrist as you would expect from that height and I don't know this watch being metallic and having that very nice shiny mesh bracelet can be worn, I would say, in pretty much any occasion. And that is the good part about this watch. And something important that you should know if you're interested in this watch is that it sadly only seems to be available in Europe. If you're interested in this watch and you're outside of the EU, you'll have to pay import duties. That is all I have to say here for now, so thank you very much for having watched. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you like the content, it does really help a lot. So I'll be seeing you in the next one, thank you very much and stay safe.